guys! Okay, so today I am going to tell you the stores that I have broken up with. I actually didn't realize how many stores I stopped shopping at until I kind of stepped back and took a look at how I've been shopping this past year and this past two years really. So I am just going to tell you the stores that I actually don't even walk into anymore and they don't even get a dime of my money and I will give you the reasons why as well. So the very first one, and every single girl probably growing up now loves this store, it's Forever 21. Some people may guess why I do not like shopping there anymore and that is because the quality of their clothes is completely just crap in general. Nothing like I have kept from there does not shrink, it gets holes in it, it tears, and everything just isn't thick material or really good quality. Even their socks tend to shrink like two sizes down to where I can't wear them anymore. So I just kind of got tired of buying and buying and buying from there. Like you can spend $50 and get a lot of stuff, but you're not having quality clothes hang in your closet. So that is the reason I kind of just ended it with Forever 21. Along with fast fashion, I watched a documentary once. I can't remember the name of it. I will try to put it in the bottom bar, but it was on Netflix. It was about the clothing industry and how the clothing industry has like 40 to 70 seasons a year when we really only have four seasons. And they just constantly put clothes out there that aren't like really well made in these fast fashion stores like Forever 21. And it just kind of makes you think like the people that are making these clothes aren't getting paid what they should and I'm buying crap clothes just over and over and over again so what's the point? So that is the main reason for that and if you love Forever 21, I'm sorry, just disregard. The second store I have broken up with is Victoria's Secret. Now for forever, I loved Victoria's Secret. I loved going in there and, you know, getting a pair of undies, getting a pair of sweats stuff like that on sale and they did have really good sales around their semi-annual time and I know a ton of girls again love Victoria's Secret but I found that like especially their underwear and stuff like that just wasn't good quality it would fall apart on me after maybe like 10 to 20 washes which may seem like a lot but it really wasn't to me I found that Airy has really really good quality underwear because I wash it and wash it and wash it and one the other day fell apart, but I had had it for like three years. So I kind of switched to them along with the main reason is because I'm in marketing and Aerie's campaign is Aerie Real. So they have real models. They don't touch up their models. They got stretch marks. They're bigger. They're smaller and they're all different races. And when you look at Victoria's Secret, you know, they're like window displays and everything. You just see the skinny model, big boobs, everything like that. So I just got kind of tired of that image because it's not real and it's really photoshopped. And then like at our mall across the way is Aerie and there's a girl that like, you know, is the size of me and she just has underwear on with a stretch mark. It just looks more real and it makes me actually, their marketing is working on me. It makes me want to go buy that instead of step in Victoria's Secret. And I actually find that I think Aerie's a little more cheaper than Victoria's Secret because paying some of Victoria's Secret's prices are just crazy. Third store I've broken up with is H&M. Now I will admit after watching the documentary on fast fashion, H&M was mentioned and I didn't even realize that their clothes were made so poorly and in such poor conditions for the workers. Um, so that was one store though that I really had a hard time just not shopping at because I just feel bad shopping like fast fashion and it's just constantly, you know, bad quality clothes, all that stuff. But H&M, there is a mixture, I feel like, of good quality clothes that are like thick and will hold up. And then there's those shirts that, you know, will shrink after one wash. So it was harder for me to stop shopping at H&M. I've walked in there a few times within the past year, but I try not to buy anything because I know again the quality and the workers that are making the clothes aren't getting a fair wage. And the fourth store and the final store that I don't shop at anymore is Paxson. Now when I was growing up in high school I wore Paxson like crazy. They had really good brands. All of their shirts were kind of different and I feel like they were more like edgy surfer just like chill. Now it's just kind of like I don't know there's just brands in there that I wouldn't even wear and 
their style has really really changed since I was in high school again that was like eight years ago now so I'm showing my age here. I look through their styles and stuff and one Paxson was going out of business in my town and I bought a sweater there like last year but I won't actually step into a Paxson and spend money because I just don't see that being my style. Again I don't know if they're with kind of the fast fashion industry but their style has changed so much from what they were that I feel like they kind of stepped away from what they were too much in order for me to like it again. I don't know if that makes any sense but that's another store I won't go into. I've actually enjoyed kind of um, going into Tilly's which is probably their competition but I bought a few things this year there and I feel like their quality is really good and then they have like different brands and everything enough to kind of appeal to everybody but Paxson just isn't my style anymore and it's really sad because I used to go in there like every month and you know find a shirt find jeans I used to wear their bullhead jeans I don't even know if they have that brand anymore but now it's like Kendall and Kylie or whatever and Brandy Millville and stuff like that which isn't bad if you like those brands but again what I knew kind of changed from what they were so that is the reason I don't shop there anymore. Those are just the four stores that I don't shop at anymore and I'm so sorry if you like those stores. I just wanted to share kind of why I don't and how I shop less and just don't want to like waste my money and don't want to really waste clothing getting something that I won't enjoy wearing or I can only get a few uses out of because throwing away clothes and not recycling them like taking them to Goodwill or reselling them can harm the environment so much I've learned that as well so just be careful where you shop kind of look at where you're spending your money and if the quality is coming from it like for example Alex and I shop at Target all the time and that is a store that the quality is there and their customer service is there so that is probably a store I will just always keep forever where versus Forever 21 I'll probably never step into again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all later.